Hello YouTube people, today I'm going to show you around the new Volvo engine for the 2019 Volvos. This is the D13 engine, so let's take a look around. So to start, if you can notice everything looks similar to the 2015, 2010 to 2017 engines, but this engine is slightly different. One of the things uh, you can notice if you know about it is the these connections in here for the injectors. This is completely different than the older uh, Volvo engine. I think this model is not that new anymore because I think it comes around 2017. Yeah, in the 2017 Volvo trucks, still the same chassis but it has a updated design of the engine. So as you can see, the injector harness looks different. Now it has these connections that look the same like Volvo, like, excuse me, like um, Freelander, uh, like DD15 engines. So that's one of the things that looks different, okay? Unlike, unlike Mac, this, truck has a double uh, dual piston compressor and I like this compressor because it builds really fast the air compared to Freelander, compared to Cummins, compared to Mac, this compressor is faster. That's what it is because you have two pistons. This, uh, this compressor has been a standard for Volvo engines since I think 2009. Not sure about it but that's what it is and we have a update design for the uh, refuel filter housing that now includes the after treatment module in there as you can see there are some solenoids you see where the airline goes so that's the solenoid that works with the uh, uh, with the doser block so there you have the priming the priming pump, which is uh, is being always a standard for Volvos, they always have it. All the Volvos uh, engines I have seen, they always had that priming pump. Just this is tightly it's updated. Okay, so that's something new in there. Okay, we have you alternator that's pretty much the same like the other ones. Uh, AC compressor, right? your fuse box when you can get the uh you when you can check the trailer fuses or uh mcm fuses everything related pretty much to the uh outer components if you want to say like that um let's check it out we we'll have your windshield fluid in here some drivers are asking where is it but you can see the yellow cap in here so there you have it at least on this side that's the main things you can see they're different and there are a couple things different on the air filter side but no big different i like more this design because the older one used to have a a, a steel pipe that goes around the cover that you have to remove every time you have to open the valve cover but it doesn't have it anymore so that's good this engine is let me see is 425 it's a small engine compared to the d16 that i have seen but i haven't seen the d16 with uh uh with it updated i just saw this one so let's see what else is different this comes a standard in volvos and as i mentioned in another video it's really funny because they remove it from freelanders and they put it on on Volvos because Freiliners doesn't come anymore with the intake throttle valve and now these engines comes with it so that's interesting I don't understand why that happens but we'll see we'll see what happens in the future with it now let's go around and we have a updated water pump as you can see this water pump now it has the magnetic clutch on it right i don't know if you can see it let me see 
yeah there you are this is a connection for the magnetic clutch so as you can see the 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 pull is bigger compared to the older one so that's a i don't know if this is good or bad i have changed couple of things on freelander and this one i didn't change one of those but probably soon i will and um, we have here our egr cooler yeah, it's the same like the like the older volvo engines and the turbo is the, exactly the same egr ball is the same everything around here pretty much it's the same engine for the old bulb like 2000 uh from 2011 to 2017 they're the same on this side except for maybe a couple things but i can notice right now there is something different maybe the fuel line for the the, the for the dpf but beyond that nothing new to see and um, you can see the oil filter module down here right there are as always three filters for this type of engine and uh, all the connections looks the same to me yeah so there you have it people uh there's a couple things different in here you can see all in here all these lines are completely updated compared to the to the older design but this is because the chassis is different i had to admit it i lie better these chassis compared to the older one but i don't know what kind of problems this chassis is gonna bring us because they always when they update it they change a couple things and you know you cannot yeah you cannot mess around with everything you, there's always a surprise for you as a technician so let's hope everything is fine let's check down here as you can see you have your bubble filters over there your oil pan uh, it's the same like the older years so you don't have to worry about it the good thing about this this engine is like a, when it comes to oil filters all are the same but when it comes to fuel filters they update it because as you can see there is no fuel filter in here anymore in the older bulbs with the older chassis uh, some of them let's say like through 2015 i think they still have the fuel and wire separator in here but after that they keep changing it they put another i think parker filter like a red filter it has a wire separator ball on it so that's completely different compared to the other filter that has on the other side so it depends of the model you choose and for the people who has actual turbine on this one, I have seen it and seems really complicated to remove to remove the uh, the water cooler, the water cool the, the, the engine cooler, sorry. The engine cooler goes behind all these, you have to remove the whole turbo, EGR cooler, EGR valve, and I think no, you don't have to remove the exhaust manifold, but as you can see all that you have to remove it. To, in order to get to the EGR, to the engine cooler and when you have the the actual turbine the actual turbine sorry that it, it requires more work so thanks god we don't have those engines but if i have in the future i'm gonna show you how complicated it looks okay so this is my quick review about this engine i hope you like it people please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video thank you bye